like looking back on everything, I'm like always like, how how did I miss this? How like I go through every day, and I'm like, how did I miss like my sister like being so sad? I was over here playing football, and she was fighting for her life, and well, I, I can't speak right now. Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You want to take a couple minutes? Ella Elizabeth Thomas was born on April 19, 1993. Named after singer Ella Fitzgerald, she was a fighter from the beginning. She was nine weeks premature. They said if she lived, she would be very sick and only had a 50% chance of survival and probably would not be well. And she was well. <laughs> and then little brother Solomon comes along and what was her reaction to having a sibling? <laughs> she loved it. She loved it. Very first thing, baby, sit up. <laughs> and then she just started singing him Twinkle Twinkle <laughs> at the top of her lungs. <laughs> She was a great big sister. She was like kind of my caretaker. When we were together, we always had the best time ever. One of our favorite things was to like kind of watch movies. We'd go play basketball, you know, kind of just chill and, and just talk about life. When you're around her, you felt love. You felt some sort of this energy around you that lit up the room. The Thomas family appeared to be happy but things aren't always what they seem. By the time Ella reached high school, she was struggling. She was off the charts ADD, played basketball, and that was wonderful for her and helped to keep her focused. But school was hard, and social groups were hard. How did those issues present themselves? Sometimes just time in bed, mm -hmm. just being sad, I guess. Mm -hmm. In 2011, Ella began her freshman year at the University of Arkansas, but dropped out two years later. She like came out and told us that she, she was fighting depression. It was just like kind of this, this sadness kind of just lived in her and she couldn't get out of it. She was like, it was like she was trying to run from it and, and it kept catching her. It wasn't until 2015 that Ella revealed the traumatic event that changed her life forever. During her sophomore year of college, while attending a fraternity party, Ella was raped. She just wanted to protect her baby girl, and I wasn't able to protect her and take the pain away. And it's something I'll never forget as long as I live. Kind of started making sense from, because from there on, that's kind of when everything changed with Ella. She couldn't sleep. Her anxiety was crazy. She'd just shake sometimes, nightmares, PTSD, couldn't be happy, blamed herself. She wanted to let it go, but she couldn't escape it. In 2017, Ella moved back home and was alongside her little brother for the biggest night of his football career. With the third pick, in the 2017 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Solomon Thomas. As a fan, it was the most beautiful night. We were all so happy together. Ella was so happy for so, her brother. So beautiful. <laughs> Beaming with pride, Ella was a fixture at Levi Stadium during Solomon's rookie season. The Thomas family spent September through December cheering on number 94. It seemed like a wonderful time, and now we know it was a sacred time. Because mm. after that, everything unraveled, and mm. it was bizarre. After Christmas, her moods were switching really bad. I would always ask, like, like why? Like, why are you so sad? Or, like, why are you continuing to be so sad? And she's like, I just can't be happy. She's like, it's not there. On January 23rd, 2018, 
Ella Elizabeth Thomas took her own life. She was 24 years old. I feel my heart hurting. <laughs> Hurts. All the time it feels like it's being squeezed. Um. No, every day I pray, thank God for the 24 years we have with Ella. I wish it could have been a whole lot more. But she was a fighter, but she at least made 24 years. She wasn't supposed to make it <laughs> past six months. But I still miss her every day. How are you doing? It really depends on the day. Um, some days I see I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some days uh, In June, just five months after Ella took her life, the Thomas family participated in the Out of the Darkness Walk in Dallas, a nationwide fundraising event put on by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Every step, a step towards healing, in memory of Ella. When Solomon first asked us about this interview, he said, do you want to do it? And I said, no, I don't want to do it. I said, I'll do it, because if it helps one person, mm -hmm. it's not going to get better by not talking. So we have to talk about it. What do you think she'd be saying to you right now? Get your shit together, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, she would want to say, toughen up. Go out and do something good. Make someone better. Don't be miserable. Live. And I think going out and trying to make a difference and help others gives us a purpose. Everyone's going through something that you don't know about. Depression, anxiety, whatever you're going through, and it needs to be shown. I feel like this is my way to honor her, to raise awareness and, and try to help other people's lives and other families.